Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm here today showing you how to make an eggnog pumpkin trifle. I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things about this time of year is the eggnog. I could drink it every day for every meal. But so let me just explain to you what I've done beforehand. So I made a spice cake, um, or if you want to, you can use a gingerbread cake mix. I couldn't find one. So I used this spice cake and made it according to the directions on the back of the box. And then I added a little bit of molasses and some nutmeg just to give it more of a gingerbread taste. So I just cooked that like normal in a 9 by 13 pan. And then I took a 5.1 ounce instant vanilla pudding. And instead of using three cups of milk, I used three cups of eggnog. And let me tell you, I could have eaten the whole thing of pudding just by itself. So it's going to be good. <laughs> so uh, my first layer, I just cut up my 9 by 13 pan of cake and cake pan <laughs> into small one by one inch squares and then layered that in the bottom and then I did a layer of pudding and then a layer of whipped cream. If you want to be super thorough you can make your own whipped cream just uh, by whipping it by hand. Our grandma always used that and it was always delicious. But I found this in the store. It's extra creamy. And if you're not wanting to watch uh, your calories this holiday season, this is the way to go. So let me just show you how I layered these really quick for the second layer. They really do. They just come apart in these little one inch squares. One thing I love about trifles is that you know you can just kind of throw it in it may not look the prettiest but it will taste delicious get all of this in here okay then we're going to layer the rest of our pudding right on top Just try and smooth it over as evenly as possible, getting as close to the edges as you can. This really is the most delicious pudding. And then we're going to top it with our whipped cream. So you could even use, if you wanted to make it a little more decorative on the top, you could buy the spray whipped cream and do little dollops around the edges, but I think this works just fine. So then, to top it, we are going to, and you can crumble ginger snaps and put it on top as kind of like a topping, or you can layer them around the edges. Um, a trifle is best to eat after it's been sitting for a little bit just to let kind of the flavor soak in. Um, I like it when my cake is a little more soft and moist from the pudding and the whipped cream. And then on top we're just going to sprinkle some cranberries for a final touch. And there you have it, eggnog pumpkin trifle. For this and more recipes, be sure to visit SixSistersStuff.com.